Hey everyone, peace, love, and light. I hope you guys are doing well. Thanks so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate that. I really do. Um, I take pride in what I do. I definitely am not just out there randomly filming what most people think are clouds. This is a huge system that surrounds us right now that um, that should be talked about, that we have a right to know about those who want, aren't looking at the sky, those who are not paying attention to what's going on, because it, it's very significant. That is not a cloud. That is a surface feature under the sun. Clouds don't have te uh, depth and weight. It's supposed to just be vapor. For those who forget, no disrespect, just that's a surface feature. These objects are sky fillers. They're huge. We're sitting in a significant shooting gallery right now that, again, our higher-ups are not letting us know about as they distract us with whatever they're distracting us with. That is surface feature. This is a big vessel. You can see the openings, whether those are windows or not, I don't know, but it has depth, weight, texture, shape, and also has that serpent going through it. The serpent sits in the southeast sky daily. <clears throat> Just depends on whether, <clears throat> excuse me, if it wants to appear or not. Again, use your own discernment on your own journey. I'm not here to force people to think what they don't want to believe. I know some of it is hard to believe, and it is, but we live in a very supernatural world. And I'm here to help you see, for those who want to see. I mean, this is like, that's a serpent, through and through. And I keep capturing that, and it has um, detail on it. I've captured ancient symbols in the sky. I've actually captured pi, you know, the pi symbol. Um, that shouldn't be in the sky, in all honesty. It actually looks like underwater, doesn't it? These are just some things I wanted to share with you guys. That's under the sun. These are vessels. And the way they cloak is, you can see the technology in the sky, it's incredible. It's not my phone, it's not the tablet, it's just whatever's there. I've captured it so many times. But see, that's a vessel, cloaked. And you can see some of the um, cloaking ability it has, the technology. You can see the depth and weight and texture and the features on it. Remember, clouds don't have features, and not ge they don't have geometric shapes. And then this is the sky. Something seriously is sitting behind the sun. <coughs> Excuse me. It's actually blocking our real sun. And Mother Earth isn't going to be able to handle it too much longer. That's why there's windstorms, there's things descending here. I mean, it goes back to the Titans, you know? Think about the Titans and how the weather, they affect the weather. It's a real thing. They just don't want you to think it's a real thing. Some more features here. Half the time, my, the sky shouldn't be black. It shouldn't be really dark behind the sun. Oh, my screen's dirty. Sorry about that. I mean, again, use your own discernment on your own journey. This is what's sitting in the sky on a daily basis. Goes back to, I watched uh, Kong versus Godzilla. That was a really great movie. See, there's the serpent again. There's a serpent's eye. And look at the detail on that. It almost looks like a sand dollar. And you can see the cloaking technology on it.
If they can show us the technology they use in a movie, think about what they're really using in real life on us that we don't even know about. I mean, look at the detail on this thing. That is not sky. That is ancient rock. That is definitely ancient rock. Just some kind of vessel or could be just a really a huge planet that has these on it. I think these are worlds, what we would call planets, but they're really worlds because they shouldn't have serpents on them and things like that, you know. See, I wanted to show you this. These seem to be portal doors or something. These are those cylinder vessels, which I think are drakes, to be honest, which makes me really nervous. I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. And then we have that. <clears throat> and then look at, see how it has all these little weird, that's cloaking stuff. That's technology. this one it's either a doorway or um, a vessel I've seen a doorway like that you can actually see a being in it I don't know if I have it on my email yet or not but and then we have this that's not a cloud if you want to think it's a cloud that's cool you have a right to think that but I'm just trying to show you different that there's way more going on than they want you to know Again, use your own discernment on your own journey. This is what I was talking about. Look at all that. That's the sky. Our sky shouldn't have all that, whatever this is, designs in it. That's not my phone. <clears throat> That's not my screen. That's not the way it's been edited. It's already, it's there in the sky. So either that this is what they use as magic erase, I don't know, which is because it is little nanobots um, and or something significant sitting there. And I mean, here's a shadow right here with the, the ancient head. That's incredible to me. That is not normal. That is not normal. It looks like two eyes. <laughs> right at me but that looks like an ancient one right here with his headdress on listen with everything that's going on in the world doesn't surprise me that they're here Let's see if I can find the doorway yeah this is the doorway I captured and see again with the the technology it's a little being sitting there looking out it's an entity Believe it or not, that's okay. But that is some, that's a being peeking through. The cloud, the sky shouldn't have a straight edge through it like a doorway. No way. And then have all this technology in it. So either our sky is all technology, which I'm beginning to really think that. I don't know, watching, watching um, King Kong last night and Godzilla. You know, it just validated a lot for me personally on what we're in. But hey, that's me. Anyway, I am beyond the spectrum. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. I'm just going to end it with this one. Peace, love, and light.